All right, two days has passed. Now I am, well, if you watched my other video, I said I recorded the other video of me spray painting the wood two days ago. So two days has passed. Now I am going to be putting the splitter back on my car. And um, this is how the car sits right now. So i um, gonna put the splitter right under there. Uh, the brackets already came in the mail, came in yesterday, but yesterday I worked. Oh, fuck. USPS. I really hate the shipping company, by the way. These are the same exact brackets that I had um, on the car. I just ordered the same ones. Now I'm just gonna bring the wood in, take off the bumper on the car, and slap it all on. It was my old wood. I already got the uh, drilled in holes on both sides. So it makes it a lot easier because if you saw my DIY splitter video, it was a bitch to get it um, centered. So I guess I'm going to take off the bumper and get it started pretty much. Damn, I'm fucking tired. I was welcome got some coffees, but coffee doesn't work. It's a single cam. It's a single cam. Oh. It is really, really hot right now. I don't know why. But I mean, it's the summer, but San Diego weather is really bipolar. So, um, while the car cooled down, I am going to be putting the brackets that came in the mail on the splitter and I'll make sure it's tight and then after that I'm gonna remove the tow hooks that are on the car these ones right here I actually forgot that I had a fan It's on the car, but it's not fully mounted. I actually have to make a couple adjustments to the driver's side bracket because for some reason these brackets on the left side sit a little lower. So I'm gonna notch up the frame a little bit just so I could make it sit a little higher. But this is what it looks like. And uh, I really like it actually. I don't know why I took it off last time. I think because it was too low. But that was because the driver's side wasn't uh, sitting correctly. If you notice on this side, it's gapped a bit. And then the passenger side, it's not, it's completely covered. So I gotta do some modifications to the brackets. There's a single jingle with a tough feel. Um, I also wanna get this out there. A lot of people ask me if I'ma swap the car or not. Swap the motor pretty much, and I am in the future. I'm not gonna tell you when, but my friend offered me a motor for pretty cheap, so I'm thinking about it right now. But for now, this single cam is perfect, it does its job. I don't need a new motor, it's reliable. Um, the one thing you want when you go to the track is you want a reliable motor. You want to be able to pretty much hammer on the gas, uh, hit the rev limit, and everything, and then make sure when you get home or you're able to drive home. Because I drive three hours up to the Mojave Desert. And then after that, it uh, raced for say like an hour or an hour and a half. And after that, I drive three hours back with AC. And the car's reliable. And ideally, my car, I drive it to work every day, I drive it everywhere. Well, it depends if I need to get something, I take it to the van. But 
that's just to you guys that I was talking about the single cam. So, yeah, that's the final product. Um, I didn't really modify the brightness. I just had to raise it up a bit, and everything's all tight. And this time, these are supposed to be quick release, but I'm not making it quick release. It shakes a bit. Last time when I was driving it, um, so what I'm gonna do is, well, I already did it. <laughs> what am I saying? I tightened both the uh, bolts right here, both of these. So the point where the only way that I could take it off is actually if I loosen it. And then they're pretty much not even quick release anymore. I'm just uh, leaving it on the car. Because before I made it quickly so they could tow my car. But since I have this tow strap sitting on there, now I guess they could tow my car from there if anything happens. So I just gotta put the bumper back on and then go for a little drive and see. <laughs> actually, like I already imagined, I drove it last and was scraping pretty bad. So. I should have painted it black a long time ago. Uh, about to go to George's camera real quick to pick up extra bag for this camera. How to get it ordered. Someone's alarm's going off. I know for a fact I'm gonna scrape this. This shit's fucking, it sticks out pretty a lot, so. But, we'll see, so I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm back home, I took a quick shower. I was sweating in my car. I should've used the AC, but I didn't. Uh, and I went to George's camera. So I could pick up a new battery. And this battery was fucking expensive. This shit right here was 70 bucks. And that's price match. <sighs> Canon, so expensive. On the way, well, when I was driving around, going up driveways and going back home, uh, the only problem I have with the splitter is leaving my driveway and going up my driveway. Because my driveway is really steep. Leaving, it just drags across my whole driveway. Which is this crazy. But, I mean... It's cool, I could drive it everywhere. I mean, I could go inside driveways without a problem. Uh, George's camera, I parked outside because that's just too steep. Oh, focus. So I'm going to leave it on. And VTEC Club's coming this September. Well, next month but i can't make it to that one so i'm going to the september one in auto club speedway and if you guys are watching my other videos i said that i was going to remove my wing and the splitter for vita club because class regulations but i thought about i was like you know i'm only going for fun i don't really care about my times or anything so i'm just gonna leave it all on. i'm just gonna leave the wing on leave the splitter on just race like that because i'm not trying to set points or anything i'm just trying to go out there and have fun with my friends have a blast and like I said in my other videos, that's all I care about. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I'm slowly getting around on editing on Final Cut Pro and messing around with the camera settings. I'm trying to get the best video out for you guys in quality because everybody loves 1080 or high quality videos compared to like shitty iPhone video. Well, the 6S has 4K, so <clears throat> yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe, like, whatever if you guys want to. Um, I'm, tr I'm trying to upload every three, four days, like I said, so, deuces.